Hi, my name is Dennis. Uh, today we're going to show you how to do a little MIDI editing using Asset Pro 7.0 by Sony on a Windows 7 computer. And we're going to begin by obviously you will open the program and uh, we'll start a new track here. Okay, so when you open the program, this is basically what you should see uh, on your top left. You're going to click the insert tab and you're going to click uh, MIDI track that will insert your track there and you just want to maximize it by clicking over here where if you go over the square it'll say maximize track height and there you go and then you'll want to arm the track because we're going to record on it uh, I'm going to show you using a MIDI keyboard um, basically you just kind of play things out as you like I'll let you hear it real quick so you can kind of get an idea. It just uh, goes to piano default. So we will go ahead and click the MIDI output section here. You simply click that and just as a note, you'll see the MIDI channels go 1 to 16. So you can have up to 16 channels on this one, uh, on uh, this track here. And we're just going to keep it on 1 and click insert soft synth and you'll you'll notice uh, I have a whole bunch of soft synths but your stock program will come with uh, Sony DLS soft synth and I think that's about it if you did you might have got it as a if you get more you might have got it as a package or whatnot but we're gonna use a uh, quartet here just to uh, add in a baseline real quick so we'll simply click that and you'll see the soft synth actually comes up and it's this one default on channel one goes to a concert piano as well. And we will go ahead and change that. Like I said, we're going to do a bass line. So we're just going to do a six string bass here. That sounds pretty nice. You kind of get the idea. And just as a note, when you press the keys, the harder you press, the louder they are. So if you hit them very lightly like that, they'll be low. If you hit them very hard, they'll be loud like that. So we're going to go ahead and play something out. We'll just drag that down to dock it on the bottom. If you want to take it out, you just simply click the left here and drag it on out. There you go. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put on our metronome and our metronome count off, which is a nice new feature on Asset 7. And here we go. We're going to record. Okay, I think that's enough. We'll just uh, copy and paste there. You'll see, um, you want to turn off the metronome and we're going to turn off the loop margins and we're going to click on enable inline MIDI editing. As you'll notice that everything's going to be off a hair. The human hand tends to not be perfectly on beat. So this is why they have enable inline MIDI editing and we'll just open it up a little more so that way we can do our editing relatively easily and you'll see when it's off a little bit you just left click and drag it till it's perfectly to the next line and you just move this one over and this one make sure everything is the right length and you'll notice you can just drag things up and down whatever you like and just go ahead and make sure everything's lined up. Let's play that back real quick. And that sounds pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and get my selection tool here. Left click it. And as a note, side note too, you want to make sure you have your snapping enabled. And I usually put it to about the eighth note. Um, and it makes it nice and easy to move things around. If you don't, you'll notice things never line up right. Uh, you can, but it's very difficult. Um, so basically you do is you just go over to the right of everything, left click, you'll see the box appear. And when everything's shaded, highlight it, you'll let go of the left click and then right click on the first note and hit copy. And then you'll want to hit left click on the uh, next section of the baseline. And that's the start. And then you'll right click and paste. 
and you'll notice everything lines up perfectly to the end. So we'll go ahead and play that back so you can hear. And so on and so forth. And you'll notice too, you can also actually play the keys here using your, uh, just your mouse. It's kind of cool. Um, and this also, you scroll down and up to reach lower notes and higher notes. Just so you know kind of what's going on with everything. And we're going to go ahead and uh, make this track a little smaller. And uh, that's all you do is click that again. And we'll add in, we're going to add in a second track. We're going to add in a bass and a snare. I mean a kick and a snare. Uh, so that we can get an idea of what a more full beat sounds like. This is uh, not going to sound like a professional beat, but uh, we'll be in... Uh, tempo and everything will be lined up perfectly so here we go we're going to add in go ahead and click insert again midi track and if you just hit plus it'll make that the same size as the other one we'll make this one a little larger though so we can see a little more and we're going to go ahead and um, unarm the last track and arm this track and click on your midi output section and click insert soft synth and we're going to put in Orchestral. Give it a second to load up there. It should replace this one here. Just as a note to toggle between, if you click the other track, it'll bring up the other soft synth, which is nice. So we'll click back to the second track. We'll take it out of there, just so you can see what's going on with it. And we're on the first track, which is a default setup as a flute. We're not going to use that though. We're going to go ahead and Click a rhythm set and uh, use the marching kit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn our metronome and metronome count off back on and go ahead and record a kick and a snare. Okay, we'll turn off our metronome and metronome count off and you want to go ahead and set this marker region so that way it lines up the same. Move this back. Like that. Okay, so we'll just scroll this down so you can get a better view. Maybe even scroll this one down so we can get that one in there. So you can kind of see everything. Again, you toggle back and forth between the enable inline MIDI editing button. And you can see what it looks like, but we'll just go ahead and make everything a little more lined up. There we go. There. There we go. There. 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 That was just me holding the key down longer. There's no need to make them bigger. I'll just do this real quick. Let's play that back, see what it sounds like, make sure it's on beat. Okay, so that sounds about right to me. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing. We'll copy and paste that so that way it is as long as the baseline. So again, you left click above it, make sure the whole thing's highlighted, right click on the first note, copy, go to your, your next section of the beat, which is 5.1, you'll left click and then right click and paste. Everything should be on beat. Start at mid beat so you can hear that. Okay. So you kind of get the idea of how to do uh, MIDI editing there. Uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, just so you can kind of see what's going on, we'll add in, uh, we're going to go ahead and change the sound on the bass line so you can see that you can actually change out your instruments afterwards, which is nice. So again, you just left click on it and you'll bring up the other soft synth. And if you say didn't want the six string bass, 
you could add in just say uh, a jazz bass once you unarm that track see what that sounds like we'll play that back for you just click the loop region on so that way it plays over and over and then we'll just solo out the track using the exclamation point on the top right of the track so you can hear what it sounds like and then we'll click back to the six strings so you can hear the difference notice the six string sounds much better you could even select uh, a guitar if you wanted to we'll do a 12 string steel and we'll see what that sounds like with the uh, with the uh, kick and snare you can also duplicate the track if you want and do one as say the 12 string steel and the second track you can make you know a bass if you like so that concludes our video uh, go ahead and check me out on Twitter my handle is at ShiftyTheRapper. 